Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. Thanks for coming by today. A while back, we did an unboxing video where we unboxed a beautiful piece of equipment from V Clad and Sons. It's a drop candy roller machine, and we've cleaned it up and we're going to start using it to make candy. It was in fairly good shape, so cleanup wasn't too difficult. And it's a beautiful machine. Everything was preserved so sharp and clean. And while it's a beautiful machine, it did have some problems. I thought all the machines of this era used interchangeable rollers no matter what the brand, and I was wrong. These rollers are about a sixteenth of an inch thinner, so most of our Thomas Mill rollers just won't fit in this machine. But it came with a beautiful set of rollers from the Thill Candy Company. The Thill Candy Company was one of many candy companies in Philadelphia and it was located at 4th and York. They had actually purchased the old police headquarters and they put their candy factory into it. As we pour our hot sugar on the candy cooling table, let me tell you about what I've discovered about the Thill Candy Company. I found out almost nothing. And this kind of surprises me considering how well I do research. I know they own that police headquarters building. I know they had it in 1960. I cannot tell you when they closed. I cannot tell you what happened to them. I can't even tell you what candies they were known for. I can tell you that the last owner of it sadly passed away in May of the year that I made this video, and that all phone numbers connected with him have been disconnected. The Phil Candy Company also owns a bunch of weird properties that are like very small empty lots all over Philadelphia. If anyone out there finds out anything about this company, please let me know and I'll include it in a future video. thought with this classic equipment I'd try a classic flavor like wintergreen. The color wintergreen is usually made to represent as teal and I've mixed some teal coloring into the hot sugar and I've stretched a little into the area that will be stretched so that it won't really be white it'll sort of be a light green. The candy table has done its job and the bits of sugar that have been touching the bars and the table itself are now cool enough to handle but the bits in the middle are still blistering hot and I've got to fold it all together to get all the temperatures even before I can start working with it. It's time to put the candy on the hook, and that means that we're going to fold it over again and again and trap millions of air bubbles that'll make the candy opaque. In most of our candies, this makes the candy white, but since we stretch that color into the part that's becoming white, we're hoping to get a light teal color that's opaque. This is going to do two things. One, it's going to reflect the light neatly, and two, it's going to allow you to bite through the candy and crunch it a bit, though all those air bubbles are going to act like connect the dots and get you bite the candy without breaking a tooth with any luck and it'll add lots of flavor to your experience. If you'd like some of this candy or other candies, just visit our website at www.pd.net or if you're ever in Tallahassee, you can visit Lofty Pursuits in person.
I'm going to build the candy with stripes in it. And the way I'm building the stripes, the stripes when they go through the machine will distort a bit. If I've done my job right, it'll kind of look like teal bacon. And while the flavor's great and the colors came out like I wanted to, the rollers didn't work right and the candy doesn't want to break apart into pieces, it wants to shatter. I've discovered when things look so good, sometimes there's a reason for that. They don't work and nobody used them to wear them out. This seems to be an example of that. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. More videos are coming out. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers so we can get that YouTube plaque. Please follow us on Facebook. Or just go to our website, www.pd.net, and you can order this candy for yourself. If you're ever in Tallahassee, please come by and visit us at Lofty Pursuits or right off the interstate exit here. And thank you for watching. We'll see you sometime soon, and come and watch our next video.